What's up everybody? Jason Page here. I'm pretty excited about this video I'm going to make today because I am at my local park, Jonathan Dickinson, and I'm going to do some camera rotations of the sunset. I did a whole series on these called Pyramids in the Sky. I'll show you a couple of those images now. And uh, this is the location that I shot all those images. I'm going to go up here, get up to the top of this tower, and I will uh, show you the tools that I'm using and the technique to create pyramids in the sky with nothing but the ambient light from the sunset. That is the tower that we're going up to. And that will be the view. Here in Florida, we don't have a lot of high ground. So the tower here at Jonathan Dickinson just works out perfect because I'm up high. I have a landscape that has no buildings, no lights, no obstructions in it, and a nice clean horizon out there uh, to create these images. It really worked out perfect. This is my setup for my camera rotation rig. There's tons of bugs. I don't know if you can see all the bugs, but there's tons of bugs. But the cool thing about it is you can rotate the camera by this little twist right here. So you'll see the camera actually, you can see the camera rotating as you twist like this, like that. This rig here is from Chris and Alan Thompson. Thank you guys, I absolutely love this thing. I bought this probably, I don't know, close to, gotta be like seven, eight years ago. I got this from them. They don't make them anymore, but I will put a link to show you guys how to make your own camera rotation tool. It's not gonna be the same as this one, but I'll put a link um, to a full tutorial showing you how you can create your own camera rotation tool. What I'm gonna do is just use the light from the sunset to create these ambient light sculptures. Uh, this is a form of kinetic light painting and that is the light stays stationary and the camera is actually gonna move to create the design within the frame. I'm gonna wait until the sun goes down until we get the color in the sky, then I'll show you exactly how to create pyramids in the sky. All right, so the way I'm gonna be creating these is by a combination of things. I'm gonna be rotating the camera on the camera rotation tool, but I'm gonna be capping and uncapping the lens. So I'm gonna be taking the lens cap off just for a split second and then putting it right back on. So I'm gonna start with the camera rotated about, I'd say 60 degrees or so. So on here, on this particular one, it's, I know that it's nine turns of the crank. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that gets me here. Again, the settings are ISO 100 F22 shooting on bulb mode, using my little wire shutter release here to start the exposure. I'm starting the exposure with the camera tilted about 60 degrees with the lens cap on, all right? So here we go. Starting the exposure, lens cap is on, camera tilted about 60 degrees. I'm gonna take the lens cap on and off really quick. One time, here we go. That's it. Now I'm turning it three cranks, one, two, three, and I'm gonna repeat the process. One, two, three. 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 That's it. Now I'm stopping the exposure. And I'll show you. I won't even move it here. I'll show you exactly what I got. So. I don't know if you guys can see that that well. But that's what I got right there. So this image here is ISO 100 at F22, and I don't have any ND filters, so I have to allow the light to settle down just a little bit more, because this is just a bit overexposed. So that's the process for creating these. What I'm doing is rotating the camera and removing the lens cap on and off really quick. Each time I remove the lens cap on and off, it allows a little bit of light into the camera to expose. And as the rotation turns and as the light goes in and out of the camera, it builds those pyramid looking images in the sky. 
the pyramids in the sky is just the beginning of this camera rotation idea concept you can create all kinds of ambient light sculptures using just the light from the sunset which is actually getting really beautiful right now so i'm going to go ahead and shoot some more and i'm going to get a couple cool ones and then i will pick this back up because i'm running out of light So it's almost dark now there's a lot less light in the sky so what i have to do to keep creating these different pyramids because as the light goes down it does change and the pyramids that you can create do get different especially if there's a lot of clouds in the sky as the clouds move and the the light bounces off the clouds um, you can create all kinds of different shapes all kinds of different ambient light sculptures and if you're just going to do the pyramids they change as well there's a couple things that I can do to adjust for the sun getting lower and lower and less light in the sky. The first thing that I can do is open up the aperture. I can also bump up my ISO, but what I prefer to do is by hand just leave the lens cap on or off just a little bit longer. It really makes it feel like light painting in that you're using your hand to adjust the amount of light that is getting recorded by the camera. Again, this is a special camera rotation tool that I got probably seven, eight years ago from Chris and Alan Thompson. They do not make this anymore, but I will link a tutorial so you can find out how to build your own camera rotation tool so that you can go out and do this. The pyramids in the sky and shooting this ambient sunset light is just the very beginning of what you can do with camera rotation. I will shoot a bunch more videos about camera rotation showing you what you can do with uh, city lights, with traffic lights, with all kinds of different lights. You can create some really amazing works of art just using camera rotation and stationary lights. So I'll shoot more videos on that in the future. So again, if you guys like the video, please do thumbs up down below. Any questions, put them down in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know when we put out a new video. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. Greatly appreciate all the support. And until the next video, get out there and get creative.